So in the next this next video, let's continue converting units uh, from uh, from base to a prefix unit or maybe from base going down or from down going to base or from top going to base. Just one step at a time. So let's say at this moment, let's use 325. So let's have 325 kilometers. And this time I want to convert this into, in terms of meters. Okay, so in terms of meters. So step one, let's copy the given. 325 kilometers. And we all know that this kilometers, the given unit, is a fraction. So let's divide it by one. So the imaginary number. And then let us place our kilometers, the one that we wanted to convert, to change to at the bottom part. So we can cancel the kilometers. And then meter is on the top one. If you notice on this table, I only converted kilo, milli, and centi. Because these are the three common prefix that you will be using in this class. So let's say, now that I can cancel my kilometer, but let's still analyze it. Kilometers. So kilometers is a thousand, meter is your base. Now, which one is greater? Is it kilometer or base? So here's the technique. So coming above the base, go to going towards the base or anything above the base going towards the base is going to be a multiplication process so meaning that there is or there are 1000 meters to one kilometer so let's multiply that 1000 instead of dividing it okay so instead of dividing so if we are from meters to kilometers we have to divide it i'll show you another example in a few so 325 multiplied by 1,000. So now my kilometers is canceled. So therefore, I would have an answer that is equivalent to 325. And then there's three zeros. So therefore, that will give us 325,000 meters, which makes sense because 325,000, so this is 325 kilometers, meaning there's 325,000 thousand meters so now as i was mentioning earlier what if let's use the same number which is 325 meters instead of kilometers now this time it's meters towards kilometers so let's convert this into kilometers so still the same process which is to copy our unit or the given information which is 325 kilometers or 325 meters we're solving for the second one. And it is again divided by one. And then let's multiply it by the bar. Okay. So this time we want to cancel meters. So meters should be at the bottom of our bar over here. And kilometers should be on the top. So now I can cancel my meters. But I mentioned earlier that every time you go from from anything above the base or anything away from the base going towards the base, you're supposed to multiply it if it's at the bottom, if it's above the base. So from the base going towards, uh, from above the base, which is kilo going to base, then you have to multiply it. But this time it's base going away, upward, going upward. So if it's going upward, we have to use that conversion factor of 1000 and place this at the bottom. So we have to divide this by 1000 and then one should go on the top. So now as I simplify this, 325 divided by 1000 will give us an answer which is equivalent to 0 0.325 kilometers. So this is how you convert if you are going above from the base or towards the base above the base. Okay. Now, what if, does it also go, uh, does this also work with kilograms? Well, that's a base, so let's use it. For example, what if I have a conversion of five kilograms and I want to convert this in terms of G or grams, okay, in terms of grams. First thing, first step, 
five kilograms. And this one, you have to divide it by one so that we don't get confused by it. And then you multiply it by your bar. Kilogram goes on the bottom part and we have to convert it to grams, which is on the top. Kilograms and kilogram cancels out. So let's take a look at kilograms. K instead of M, let's use kg. So kilo, so this above the base going towards the base. So therefore we have to multiply because it's coming from above the base. So kilo is above the base. So that is 1,000 grams is equivalent to one kilograms. Now we can simplify it further. So meaning five kilograms is simply equivalent to 5,000 grams. So this is also true in terms of any other unit aside from unit of measurement of base or any, uh, or I'm sorry, not base, but in terms of length, which is in terms of meters or grams, which is your mass or time as well. What if, let's use this blank space over here. How about this time, let's convert millisecond. So for example, I have point zero five millisecond, okay, ms. And I want to convert this to seconds. So let's convert this into seconds. So letter S. So 0 0.05 millisecond. And let's divide this by 1. And then let's draw the multiplication symbol in the bar for your conversion. Millisecond is on the bottom and second is on the top simply because we want to cancel this. Meters per second, meters per second. Now, let's take a look. So meters going to base, or milli going to base, milli. So meaning you're going upward. Okay, so going upward. So this time you're going upward, so meaning you have to, is it getting smaller or getting bigger? So that's a good question. Are we going to divide it or multiply it? But since you're going towards the base, so from a small unit going to a bigger unit, which is your base. So therefore, we have to divide this. So meaning there are 1,000 millisecond, 1,000 millisecond, and for every one second. So let's divide this again. So let us divide this again by 1,000. So meaning there should be an additional three zeros. So zero, one, two, and three, and that will give us five seconds. So if you're converting it from millisecond to second, you have to divide your millisecond or the smaller unit by uh, the conversion factor in order to uh, reach the base unit. So this is basically your one-step conversion unit. And maybe in the next video, we'll go over the two-step video, two-step conversion uh, strategy.